Good afternoon, people. Watch them in 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of Scripture. And it is actually out of 2 Corinthians 5.21. For he hath made him to be sin for, for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. I love that. Well, I dug deep. And I mean deep. When I do research, I do it all the way. Now, I like Jack Hibbs. Don't get me wrong. I like him, but he does say repent of sins for salvation. And that was unfortunate. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to Scripture for all of us, all of our sins. We are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, keyword, believe in him, will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, I got to leave shortly because I got to pick up sack. Not only are you saved, but you are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time. And you're sealed until the day of redemption. Now, that's one thing he does say. He does uh, preach grace through faith in Christ alone. And you cannot lose your salvation. That is true. That's 100% fact. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will baptize you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, all of that. The Holy Spirit will change you. What I did find out, and I did look into this further, he does say, repent of sins for salvation. I caught him saying that a couple of times, unfortunately. Now, the thing of it is, will I stop listening to him? No, he's, he's okay. I listen to him. But keep in mind, this thing, let me explain something to everybody. Repentance has been with me from day one. Now, I put up a thing from uh, Dr. Gene Kim on my community tab, the easy way to stop the confusion about repentance. That was the best explanation in 11 minutes that I've ever heard anyone talk. He explained it to a T, and it only took him 11 minutes. It, it clears up confusion. Repentance is something that will turn people away from the church. It is a hotbed, and it has been around since, I mean, it is just, yeah, it can get people up in a frenzy. But the thing that I am looking at, and I've been looking at this from day one. I've been looking at this for four years since I started doing videos. I looked at this as much as I looked at uh, the rapture. Because it's something that people are not only confused about, but they are. They're, they get up in arms over. And it's no reason for that. It's, it's really no reason for that. First of all, let me get something straight. The words, and I've said this about a year ago, and I did something on this about a year ago. The sentence, listen very carefully to this, repent of sins. Repent of your sins. That sentence, that phrase, repent of your sins, is nowhere in the Bible. I'll let you let that sink in for a minute. It's nowhere in the Bible. Now, repent and repentance is in the Bible. The word repent and the word repentance is in the Bible. It is a change of mind. It is metanoia, a change of mind. How you once felt about Christ and sin and how you feel now. You turned from not believing to believing. It's a change of mind. You changed your mind. Okay. It, 
it is not how can I put this it is not a turning of sin from sin and I'm going to tell you why and again I'm going to link this video with Gene Kim in the description box we have a sin we have a flesh nature we can't turn from sin we have a sinful nature what the changing of the mind does when you accept Christ as Savior it acknowledges your fact it acknowledges the fact that you're conscious of what you're doing now now that you're saved you're conscious of your sin like I said last night, the Holy Spirit will convict you of that. You're conscious of it. So you're more careful not to upset God. The thing that gets people in trouble, <laughs> the thing that gets these pastors, a lot of these pastors, and I'm looking at it now, and I don't know why the Lord sent me on this research to, to research these people, to look at these pastors. The thing that gets them... And they're mega churches at that. The thing that gets me is the fact that they have to, that they tell these people, you have to turn from sin. That is not biblical, nor is it right, because unfortunately we have this nature. You're going to be confessing 24 7. Where is the rest in Christ if you're going to be doing that? You see what I'm saying? I understand where he's coming from, Jackie. I understand that he, what it is, is that repentance is actually a recognition of your sin. And you know that it's an offense to God when you get saved. That's what it is. But we can't turn from sin. And even, and we sin daily. We're still saved under the blood of Jesus because his death, burial, and resurrection took care of all of those sins, past, present, and future. So for someone to try to turn from sin, and for, and for someone like Joyce Meyer who says she's never sinned or never does sin, that's a lie too. I mean, she sinned right there because she lied. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, again, do I like him? Yeah, I like Jack Hibbs. I do. But I'm looking at these people from a hold and I'm, I'm looking and seeing how they're, and I can see now why people are confused. And I think God showed me that. He opened my eyes to see all this, to see why the people are very, very confused. But I'm going to link the video to Gene Kim because, I, like I said, he broke this down so easily. And it's the best explanation of repentance ever. He's like me. I did, I've been doing research. I've done as much research on repentance than I did the rapture. I'm looking at repentance just like I'm, you know, it's, it's just something that, because it gets people, there are so many different explanations of it. And people swear up and down that the sentence, the sentence, repent of sins is there. It's not. It's not in the Bible. Not at all. But like I said, the words repent and repentance is in the Bible. Okay? Which, like I said, is a change of mind. It's simply a change of mind. Going from one, from one mindset to Christ's mindset. God had repentance for making mankind, if you really want to know the truth. It's, it's in there. He changed his mind. You're going to say he's sinful? No. He changed his mind. Again, I'm not knocking Jack Hibbs or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not coming against him. Not at all. But I wanted to get that straight because this really, really bothered me. The way people were attacking. And I don't blame the people for attacking. I, don't, I understand that. I understand that. But, and they're forgiven. It's, it's cool. I don't care. It's fine. But I had to, I had to get this out there, basically, and uh, tell people, you know, where I was coming from with this. I did look further, 
like I did. I Because when I do research on someone, I dig deep. I, I even get into their personal life. I do. Because I want to know what's going on there. I just want to know where they're coming from. And I've seen that on his blog. And he did a blog. <laughs> and that's funny because he did this blog and it says on his thing, if you type it in, you can see it. He quoted from Acts 2.38 and Peter was talking to the church. And I don't think I can find it now. It says... Um, I don't think I can find it. It says, uh, Peter was talking to the church. It says, repent. It didn't say anything about of sins. It just says, repent and be baptized. Not of water. It didn't say anything about water. Repent and be baptized for the remission of sins. That's all it says. It did not say repent of sins. He put it, Jack Hibbs put it in his blog about that. So like I said, I had to dig deeper for that. I don't have anything against a man. Again, I don't. But I have to go on the record and say, that is not biblical. Sorry, that is not biblical. Um, I will be back later. I have to go and uh, pick up Zach, but I will be back later. I have an article here from uh, Prophecy News Watch. It's about... The U.S. and Arab states plotting peace. And I did something a little bit on that today, but this is going a little bit deeper into that. So I will be back on later today about that. But I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to apologize if I said anything wrong to anybody about this because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about it but I like I said and like I, I I'm not going against again I'm not going against Jack Hibbs he's fine but that part is just not there in the Bible repent of sins that sentence is not there it's not and the Holy Spirit uh, showed that to me before I did research on it three years ago four years ago so but I will be back later and I will do this uh, article. Thank you.